Hi guys, it's Sharon from Love Lady Lux and I thought I'd do a nice quick video for you. If you recall, if you've seen my March favorites, I did mention that I had been working on my hydration. So one of the things I really want to test out is not part of my skincare regime at the moment, but I really wanted to get into using masks. So while I was in Sephora, I saw these sliced sheet masks and I thought that they were pretty cool because they aren't a complete sheet. They're individual little circles and that means that you can place them where you want to. So you can concentrate on the areas of hydration you require. And I thought that they came in some pretty cool uh, different sets. So there's cucumber, lemon, and tomato. Um, so I thought I might give the cucumber one a go. Uh, just because I feel like these would be pretty fun to test out using the classic cucumber. So this is what they look like. So you can obviously see that these are lemon slices. This is the cucumber slice and this is the tomato slices. So I know you guys aren't used to seeing me in my glasses, but I honestly couldn't be bothered to put on my contacts just so I could film a video. So I thought I might just read out the instructions for the sheet masks. And so it says, slice sheet mask, cucumber. The cucumber mask sheet provides moisture and nourishment while giving the skin a nice cooling effect for better relaxation. This unique mask sheet allows you to place the patches onto the areas you need more help with. How to use after shower, dry the area you prefer to place the slices. Peel off the cucumber slices for the sheet and apply it onto the skin. Leave for 15 to 20 minutes. Pat leftover essence lightly to be fully absorbed. Um, so there's also like some warning, it has some ingredients, so water, uh, cucumber extract, glycerin. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of other stuff. Aloe vera extract, castor oil, a um, couple of different other kinds of glycerin and there's also fragrance so there's a couple of other uh, terms in there but I'm not going to bother trying to pronounce them and these are made in Korea so what I'm going to do there's these little tabs here and so I'll just peel well, I didn't peel very well but you just peel along the top and I just sprayed stuff on my face they said that it had two sheets and it's like actually kind of hard to get out a little bit so I'm just gonna take the first slice and it's kind of like fibrous can you see if you can just see on the end there so I'm just going to start in the middle, start placing these around my face and I do get a lot of dryness on my nose and on my chin so I might put this really big one on my nose, oh yeah, looking beautiful. I have noticed my skin in a couple of videos like in person it looks really nice. Um, but under the, the harsh lights of my filming room, it does look... Oh, okay. So you can see that there's a sheet in between and then there's the two um, slices either side of the sheet. So as I was saying, um, with my skin, I have noticed that in person, my skin looks very hydrated in natural light. And then... I was thinking my foundation was looking really good, I was doing really well and then I was noticing in my tutorials that my skin was looking quite dry and it was showing up a lot of the, not only the texture of my skin but you could sort of see where the foundation was catching on the dry patches so I've been working really hard on my hydration. Let's put this big one in the middle here. Just to really, oh, this one feels like it's falling off. Maybe this one was too big. Hold on, let me just like, I'm gonna move this one over to the side here. Stick this big one in the middle. Skincare is really important to me. Um, I'm not sure really why my skin became so dehydrated. I don't know whether it's like because I'm in air conditioning more often now or what it is. But it was really frustrating because I was used to my foundation performing a certain way and it just wasn't um, in front of the camera. And obviously I want 
to give each product the best chance that I can and uh, so I felt that I needed to work on my skin and so I did so. <laughs> this is like, it doesn't want to stay on my chin. Probably because I'm talking so much. This one here. So I feel like I could probably slide this over and fit another one. Yeah, a nice big one here. Or stay a little cucumber. And it just feels like it's thicker than tissue. It's definitely stronger than tissue. It's kind of fibrous like fabric, but it's like not as strong or it's not as sturdy as fabric. All right, I've got one left. I'll just stick it on my neck. Can you see there's like juice coming out? So I'm just gonna squeeze it, like really squeeze it onto my hands and just pat it on all the other areas. Just, I don't really wanna stay very well. Just gonna work that down the decollete or decolletage, depending on how you want to pronounce it. The instructions say I'm going to leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes, try and get these cucumbers to stay on my face. Um, this one really just around my jowls do not want to stay on, so alright, it's doing well now. I will be back in 15 to 20 minutes and we will see how it's going. 20 minutes later okay so it's been about 15 minutes and you can already see that the ones through the center of my face they're really dehydrated you can see that they're a lot lighter it really especially my chin one I couldn't get it to stay on because basically my chin must have been really really dry it just sucked all the moisture out of the chin one and I actually end up getting the contents that's left in here like you can see there's still moisture in here you can see it there and I kept putting it on there and my I, I had really had no idea that my chin was just that dry like it just drank up the moisture so quickly I was actually really surprised that it didn't absorb so much moisture from the nose one um the nose one's still quite moist so I've had these on for about 15 minutes like for example you can see this one here it's really dry uh, whereas on this side it's not so like uh, it's it's a little bit interesting as well to see where I seem to need more moisture on my skin than other places. It's interesting to see the way that it's absorbing the product that's on the little cucumber slices. And, and these ones too. So because my pores are so enlarged and I find that I have a lot of stuff that gets caught in the pores here, I was expecting that they would not dry out as quickly and it's sort of interesting because it seems to be the opposite where I thought my skin was drier as far as the perimeter it's kept the moisture where I thought that I had more hydration like on my cheek area it sucked in the moisture my nose where I thought was dry has kept the moisture and my chin where I thought wasn't too bad but pretty dry has just soaked it up so I'm just gonna start because as I'm talking they're coming off anyway so I'm just going to start taking them off now and that one's hit the deck we can have a look so if I can I'll try and show a comparison of the before and the after and I honestly feel like my skin does look really really good um, it looks very luminous. I feel like my skin looks very luminous. The tone of my skin has improved for sure. Um, I feel like it's definitely more even and I think that has to do with the hydration. Um, the, I had a little bit of redness just here and that's definitely gone down. Um, and it looks really, really nice. It feels really good. My face feels really cool. Um, it's a very, very supple. And it's definitely, there's a lot of moisture still on the surface, which I think is a good thing because I feel like if there's still moisture on the surface and you saw how dry these got, like, you know, if I show you again, just how, how dry it was, you would have seen the before of what it looked like. Um, and you can really just see 
how much my skin drank up the product. It is really, really nice. I am very happy with this product. I feel like it's pretty easy to use. They weren't that expensive. I do feel like it's a little bit easier than a full sheet mask. Um, just because I was able to put my glasses on and see what I was doing and do a couple of bits and pieces The only thing being that it fell off my face like for example the shape of my chin I don't know if it's because I have a small chin or something. I don't know. I don't compare the size of my chin to other people's um, That it just would not stay like the shape Possibly um, the one on my neck just fell off in like two seconds I stuck it on there about three times and it just kept falling off and the other thing I did was there was some moisture still left, as I said, in here. And I actually just took that on the back of my hands. And my hands definitely feel very hydrated. I feel like an area of telltale sign is your hands. And keeping them hydrated and moisturized is very important. I definitely would recommend this product to other people. Um, I am pretty keen to try out the other ones. Um, I wasn't planning to film those ones, but if you'd like to see how I feel about those ones, because I, ideally I feel like it's the same product, um, but perhaps it's not. I haven't got as far as that as looking at the ingredients. The fragrance may be different. It, it does smell like cucumber. I'd be happy to try the other ones out to see what those are like, to see if the style or scent makes any difference. Um, and I'd like to try and do this like once a week if I can just because I feel like it's really important um, I really want my skin to look good during my tutorials I will be doing a little bit more stuff on skincare because I do feel like I am getting to the age where I really do need to start being serious about looking after my skin I would love to be able to tell you that I'm a skincare fanatic and I really look after my skin the blah 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 I have bought so many skincare products over the year and I am like kind of lazy when it comes to skincare so I really need to get my ass into gear and be serious about it and really think about the way that I'm treating my skin like I've always been very you know regimented as far as keeping my skin clean and taking my makeup off and trying to use primers and things like that but I haven't been uh, consistent as far as a skincare regime so a set of products that I continuously use day and night um, to make sure that my skin is keeping hydrated and healthy or you know things like that it's sort of intermittent for me I'll be honest um, so I as I said I really want to get more serious about skincare and I feel like the more videos I do and the more products I I start purchasing and trying to use on camera and things like that it's going to sort of force me to be a little bit more serious about it and take my skincare a little bit more seriously than I feel like I have been. Um, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm really impressed with this product. Um, I didn't expect it to fail, but then again, you know, some things like, for example, it's a bunch of cucumber slices made out of like felty, fabric-y stuff. Um, it's kind of a little bit gimmicky. So I am pretty impressed to see that it actually worked and it's not a piece of shit product, basically. Um, <laughs> so, um, as I said, you can get these from Sephora. I do believe they're about like eight bucks or something. I will link them down below. I will link the Australian site and the US site. Um, and if I'm able to find them at any other stores, I will also link that below as I usually do. As I mentioned in my March favorites, I will be having a more serious thorough skincare video coming out if you would like to see that definitely give this video a thumbs up so i know that you are interested in skincare while i'm mentioning the thumbs up don't forget you can follow me on facebook instagram and snapchat they are all love lady lux don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified anytime i publish a video this was sharon from love lady lux and i will see you next time